Hey there, everyone. This is uh, Cal. Uh, playing uh, Talk Time Brothers 2. Before I start, there's a guy out there who was having trouble uh, making like the game register his uh, joystick, his controller. Basically, go to this screen and change input here. Like, for example, to work with my Super Nintendo controller, I need to put it on joystick 3. So, like... Whoa. I did not expect that to happen. So basically, yes. <laughs> Look around there, maybe, and you just need to change the setting. Also, to explain another thing that I tend to do... Actually, I'm gonna play with uh, Luigi. The reason why I tend to favor using Mario or Luigi rather than the other gang is a very simple reason. Yoshi does not exist for Toad, the Princess, and uh, the Elf. And, you know, they just get replaced by the generic green boots. And because there's a lot of flavor of Eldritched Yoshi in this game, I don't want to miss out in case they're important to the flavor of the gimmick or something. You know, World 4. Athlete. It's a big Luigi! We're in Luigi World! Oh my god! And I can turn to Mario or Luigi or Bootland. Oh jeez, I don't know what's going on this song. This song cannot escape this song. Not escape long death. Okay, so here it's nice that they're giving me the ability to switch around for some reason. That's very handy. How do I get up there? Using a boot jump, which is like a Yoshi jump, except I completely missed the coin because I'm pretty good at video games, in case you have never realized somehow. I know it's a detail that a lot of people miss out on. So, yeah, we're in an athletic level and the world just kind of bounces along. You don't want to die if you can help it, but you can destroy the world ostensibly with everything inside if you, you know, leave in the heart of the boot that just kind of appears there. So Athlete's Foot is a world where, you know, boots are involved a lot and they're present and they work even though your raccoon tail is snugly snugged in the boot. Oh man, it's Billboard! How's it going, guy? Can you use Yoshi to gain a jumbo? Well, okay, well look at that. We can, you know, use a booze booze floos. Or you can just use a tail. Otherwise here I would have to floos blues blues. I don't want floos blues 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 blues. You see you can do this. Because to go behind you can go behind the world. Cause here you see there is that disgusting construct. The purple Eldritch Meteor Yoshi here. And it would have just been the boot if I was using any of the other colorful friends. Oh, you need a, to rest before you can fly again. Crazy town, you do not work at all. Like a certain other Yoshinoid that I know. Hey there, red thing. How's it going today? You kinda look like a smile. Oh, I thought that the purple one was the one that was Eldritch and doesn't actually exist. I am kind of sautéed here. <laughs> that music does not know. What's going on in terms of, you know, actually doing a decent job at being a healthy human? Or at the very least, you know, the basics about looping properly without creating that disjointed feeling we all know and love. So even though this is Bootland, I'm now currently treating it as Yoshi Land. No, wait, I think that the purple Yoshi is the Yoshi that farts if you have an object in your mouth, then you press down and he does like a butt stop. It's a very specific flavor of equine, admittedly, and not one that we're very used to encountering. There's staircases, there's pipes. Man, the other side of your foot there, yo, Luigi, is kind of disgusting. Lots of fungal growths and stuff. It's pretty grody. Also, all these mushrooms just kind of growing all up in the place. And as we can see, your foot is purple and very, very filled with harsh textures. Next to that, going over there, if one, wait, with 31, do I have access to the next pipo? I don't know, let's... Yes, I do! No, wait, did I already have access to this one? I think I did. Yeah, I remember this one. Okay, so that's not the next pipo that I want. That's the area that has like 90 star door thing. Just I gotta make sure. See, okay, whoa. Whoa! So that's what you do. You don't even need food, you're just heavy. This is the overweight Yoshi. Okay, fair enough, there I need 40. So, after I finish World 4, 
I'll probably be able to go in the next pipe and no get more bone eye. It's pretty great. I love bonuses. They fill me with a hand. Pipe in the hand. Now we're going in. This moment will leave without comments. <laughs> Oh, but I don't like this. All eyes will be confiscated in the pot. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's nice. Fair enough, Mr. Poop Shoot. Uh, ah! Go there. Hey, it's a great fall level. Luckily, I have a wagging tail attached to my posterior, giving me time ample to react. And then go like, oh, hey, that's a hill and that is lava. And I can slide and everyone dies. Hi. <laughs> hey there, one up. Want me to go here? Whoa! Whoa, jeez, warfare, warfare, warfare! No, no! I don't want to get hurt. Oh, jeez! What is going on here? <laughs> jeez! You know what? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Follow the arrow and look at Largo. He's a dinosaur lava monster thing, you know. There it says, STOP! STOP! Oh, yeah, that's a good idea to stop. Gotta stop before going gets rough. That's a big arrow. Then it says to go here. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I have tell power, but I'm not too mad about it! Because it gives me a tail right in the level. I guess here you can just let yourself go and he's gonna fling him. Oh my hell dodge rarg! <laughs> oh man, rat time fever, water too if you want. Everything is a lot cleaner once you're down in the toilet. I guess that's the message here. Oh man. I should have waited there a long, long time. Wow! That level was actually pretty fun, even though it was essentially very... That's a big castle, I realize. I think it's supposed to inspire imagery of, you know, something else that I'm not gonna mention. Let's go on a button. Let me just other mention. There's Pumpkin Land over there. We've got a Han Land at some point. The button of the button. Hey there, button, 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 button. We're gonna go in the door. Can Yoshi eat a boo? Oh, he cannot. The sadness fills me with dread. So, another... Can he... He can! <laughs> learning things. Well, oh, there goes Yoshi. He was a real respected member of society, ostensibly. It's very hard to do, like, serial uh, ghost jumps in this game because of the way that the ghosts react. And Luigi's handy because when there's multiple blocks, you don't have to jump, like, a million years to get all the prizes. You just kind of get them, and that's it. So... All right, Pastrami knows uh, what is going on here. This is the shaft, and I think that all ghost houses, other than the first one we did, have a secret exit. And then when you need, when you add the need for a red star, that makes things uh, relatively potentially complicated. As I go indoors and end up at an exit, it's a pretty hard exit to find. Was right at the end. That's handy. When you're at 99 lives, 99 coins, it doesn't get you let you get the last coin. Yes, trumpet. So it doesn't let you get the last coin. So you know you you don't you know you know. So we can't go in zones. Fair enough. Fair enough. So that door up there seems fairly interesting. How would I go about going there? Can't fly here. I can't play video games. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Man, with Toad and the uh, legendary drive, though, going up there would be fairly easy. Okay, that was totally on purpose. It was so I could expertise uh, in having a double jump. It just sounds like something that would solve all of my problems. <laughs> Not stupid. Can you? Okay. So I can double jump from there. Ah! I basically want to land on that jerk. Now I am playing very badly in a very scared way. There we go. I don't know if that's like... Oh, that just leads here. 
Well then, that does not answer anything. Well, at least that's figured out. Let's go in the... <laughs> Let's go in the door there. What happens if you go there? Okay, yeah, you just... Oh, ho! Oh, a P-switch! Should have known that it would drop. Darn. Um, okay, so it's a P-switch I need to use in that room. Oh, I see, you press it, and because P-switches stay, you know, uh, like, uh, running between uh, the worlds, like when you go through rooms and stuff, it becomes a P-switch run, and you know, to just hurry and get there, it despawned! Dang it. Dang it! Ah, shoot. Well, then, the P-switch. And it becomes a race. Basically, you press it there, then you're like, oh man, hurry up, world. Oh, shoot, I should have... Oh, hey. It all gets floored. Oh, no, 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 no! I knew I should have... Ah, 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 ah! I should have activated them first. Alright, fair enough. No! Dang it! <sighs> ah, whatever. I'm gonna find that book. Secretly, this is kind of hard. Oh man, you have like no lets. There we go. Spikes are gonna kill me. So, can I assume that there is not a secret exit then? Because I really don't see where it could be otherwise. Okay, I'm going to assume that there's not a secret exit, because regardless, I'm pretty sure that if there is one... I've just died. Uh, if there is one, someone's gonna go out of their way to tell me about it. So that's gonna be it for today, starting the mysteriously happening Luigi world, and join me next time when... Keep on going through World 4, I guess. Very varied, varied, varied selection of levels today.